All right, hey, what's up guys, Gratuitous here. In this episode, I wanna to talk to you further about flipping the state. I talked to you just about this in season two, episode three of my podcast. It's called Taking Music Production Seriously and I talked to you about flipping the state. On the website, if you click podcast, you can click here to play it. This is what I was talking about in the store in spare state as well as flip in spare state. I always tell you that A and B is so powerful and it's actually one of my five golden pillars of music production. I'll be coming out with a course here very soon about that inside of the platform. Last thing I want to show you on the podcast page is I also have my episode resources. So whenever we talk about anything in the episode, I try to leave the resources in here. Or you can download my free book, all right? You guys can just go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. You get my free book as well as special pricing to the Beatmaker Trainer platform. All right, so I talk to you about A and B comparison all the time. It's really important when we're using tools like compressors and EQs, not so much synths. With a synth, usually we just kind of play our melody and then we're on our way. But when we're using compressors and EQs, it's important that we can quickly switch in between two styles to make the best decision for our track. Again, it's very important that there's fair volume comparison. So on the Fruity Compressor, we just work with our makeup gain. And you can see that if I click up here and go flip with state, you can see these are just two different versions of the plugin that I applied, which allowed me to switch quickly in between. So on every single plugin in FL Studio, it's in the FL wrapper. Okay, so you can click the cog up here. You can see that you can actually turn off and on the plugin. So instead of always having to come down here to turn off and on this plugin, you can easily just do it from here. Okay, awesome. So in addition, in the FL wrapper, you click the menu up here. And again, every single plugin has this. So you can see spare state. So this is what I was talking to you about A and B. Even if a plugin doesn't give you the feature, FL Studio allows you to have A and B comparison on, in, in this case, the Fruity Compressor, which doesn't have you know a, a quick button for A and B. So we come up here. What you're going to do is you're going to store in spare state. I've already done that. That's why I can flip with spare state. You actually have three states. You have off and on. So this is before, right? Because it's off. We have version A. And then if I would come here and flip, then you have version B. So again, I'm not teaching you about a compressor in this video. If you want to learn about that, there's a course in the membership. It's called Why Do We Producers Use Compression? I also have an EQ course in there as well. Uh, but I'm going to let you listen to this and hear how powerful it is. So here is the drum loop and I, this, these are my settings. And so I really like how this drum is like how the drum loop sounding, except maybe I think maybe eight to one's a little bit heavy. All right. So what I do is I come up here, I'd store it in the state. So now if we flip it, these are the exact same versions of the plugin. So let's dial this back a little bit. Like let's go seven and a half. And go back maybe just a little bit. And we're going to flip back. So this would be something where this is where I would tweak this because many times we go back and forth all the time on these plugins. You know, you might be like, oh, I'm going to come here and here and you come here and you turn it off and on and you're battling with this all the time. When you use this flip, it allows you to tweak in between, you know, more smaller adjustments as well. So this is the one I like and we have flip with state. So I want to go back to the other one. All right. I don't want to. You know, yeah, we could take our time to go back to what it was, but I don't remember what it was. I'm going to come here. I'm going to flip it with the state and we're going to store in spare state. OK, so now if I go back and forth, it's the same version of the plugin. Now, again, maybe I might be like, you know, what I'm going to do. I might go maybe a little higher on that. And we'll just turn it down a little bit. OK, let's just here. Flip it. This one hits a little harder. Oh, maybe like well, 2.7. You know, so maybe it's like, oh, I like this one a little bit better now. All right, so this that's how you use it. The final thing I want to show you here is that these are just um, the three files. No compression is no compression. Uh, and then A is... It was this one when it was like 300 and then it was up a little bit. I kind of messed with it with you guys. And then here is the flip with state, right? So I had a quite a fast attack, uh, very, very fast release. 
So the fast release is going to allow the compressor not to clamp down as much. You get more loudness. Again, you guys can check out the compression course. I'll leave the links below. So no compression. So in my opinion, if I were to go with one, again, I, I would go with B. I like it. It just sounds a little bit more even, hits a little bit harder. Uh, it doesn't really sound too compressed. It just sounds very just hard hitting and just energetic and full. But again, when you have instruments and stuff going on, uh, it all depends on the track. Like we're just listening to just a drum loop. This isn't this doesn't really tell you anything about the song. This is just as, a, as an example, okay? So that's all I wanted to share with you in this video was to further explain about this flip with state. So this is the FL wrapper, you click up here, you can store in spare state and then flip with spare state and you can switch in between them. All right, so I hope that helps you out and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hey Gratuitous here, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you wanna become a better producer, then check out my podcast called Music Production Made Simple. It's totally free and available wherever you listen to podcasts. I also run a Beatmaker trainer platform. There's over 26 courses in there right now, all focused on FL Studio. It's helped a lot of students and I'm sure you'll love it. For more information, just go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash courses. Finally, if you like to read, all of my books are now available in one bundle, such as audio painting about arrangement, safe spots about drum loops, FL Studio beginners book, which is gonna teach you the basics, my template book to teach you about a fast workflow, as well as proper producer mindset to start your music production career right the first time. For more information on my book bundle, just go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash books. Thanks again for watching. Visit itsgratuitous.com for all your FL Studio training needs.